Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls Gadget Review Channel. Today I'm reviewing another flavor of Colonel Seasons. I reviewed the white cheddar in a previous video and it seemed to be very popular. A lot of people watched that video, so decided to get another flavor. There's many flavors. This one sounded good as well. This is the Nacho Cheddar Popcorn Seasoning. It says made with real cheese. Directions, pop your favorite popcorn. Sprinkle to taste with seasoning. Shake to cover more popcorn. Tortilla chips shouldn't have all the fun. Our nacho cheddar seasoning season blends, or seasoning blends, real cheddar cheese and select spices to give popcorn that zesty kick you love. All right, so first ingredient, it's a good sign. First ingredient is cheddar cheese, milk cheese, cultures, salt, enzymes. Then it goes down uh, from there, multidextrin, sunflower oil, lactose, sodium, phosphate, natural flavor. Uh, yeah, so disodium glutamate, spice silicon dioxide, there's all sorts of ingredients in here. It's by Colonel Seasons LLC, serving size, you get 100, I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> according to this, you get 100 serving sizes, which is was quite amazing. If you're only using one four teaspoon at a time, I doubt that's the case for many people. Two calories in each serving. All right, so what I'm going to do is before I give it a taste test, I'm going to test it on popcorn first because I think that's, you know, people aren't just going to pour it in their hand. Um, but that's what it looks like. Check that out. Nice color. It looks like kind of like macaroni and cheese. Let me smell it. It doesn't smell like much. Maybe a little cheese flavor, but I don't get any spice of it like nacho cheese or anything like that. That's what the container looks like. It's got this little resealable lid. And so let's make some popcorn here and try this thing out. So here we go. All right, so the popcorn is done. I put some butter on it already um, because I popped it in an air popper and it won't, this stuff won't stick to it um, very well unless you, you know, put a little bit of oil on it or whatever, some butter. So uh, here we go. Let's put the nacho cheese on here. I'm gonna coat it really well for the sake of this review. Kind of cool, you can see the color changing. But I guess if it's a serving, as in like a serving, personal serving, I guess that's probably what they're talking about. Um, so I guess it would make sense, per serving. But most people don't have, you know, when they make popcorn, they make a huge bowl of it. So well, let's try this out. Looks pretty coated. So here we go. Nacho seasoning by Colonel Seasons. Taste test, here we go, three, two, one. Yeah, that was really good. Um, definitely adds another dimension to it. Um, I would say if anything, it might have a little tiny bit of nacho cheese, kind of like maybe a chili cheese type of flavor. I don't know if you ever remember, uh, I think there were chili cheese Fritos. That's kind of what it's reminding me of, at least on the popcorn. It's, there's no spice or anything like that. Mostly it just tastes cheesy, um, but I would say I like this already better than the white cheddar. It's good. Um, let me just taste it directly to see if it tastes any different. I'll put it on my hand here. And yeah, it tastes the same directly as it does on the popcorn. Kind of, yeah, just like a, uh, if you've ever had the chili cheese uh, Fritos, you know, those corn chips, that's kind of what it tastes like. Um, it's quite good. But if anything, it just kind of tastes cheesy, it's like cheddar cheese type of thing. So once again, I think it's a cool idea, uh, releasing you know flavored, flavored product lines. I think popcorn in general tastes great with just butter and salt. But if you want something different, I mean, if you're someone that eats it all the time, I would say try these out. I mean, it's pretty fun to like try out different flavors. So I do recommend the Colonel Season Nacho Cheddar Popcorn seasoning made with real cheese. I think that's one of the best parts. It's made with real cheese, even though it does have a lot of ingredients. It's a pretty cool item, pretty fun, and you can find it at your local Kroger store. So thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.